What is up guys and it's a official, official, official Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are confirmed. They are real games that are coming out holiday 2016 so you know November, October, December time. Pretty cool. And of course the trailer is out. It's not really a trailer for the game but more a trailer for Pokemon in general being 20 years old with a hint or a bit of a tease at Pokemon Sun and Moon, however there are there is stuff to look at from the trailer concerning the games, not quite gameplay but more a lot of concept art. If you want to watch the trailer I will put the link down below in the description, obviously if you've seen it already, you've seen it already, awesome job, um, if you want to go watch it, go watch it now and then we'll get on to cracking down about some high in depth analysis or as best as I can do. So uh, we're just going to go through, I mean a lot of this trailer is just sort of old Pokemon games and promotional stuff for Pokemon in general. Uh, but when we get to the end, we actually see some of the main members of Pokemon working together and, you know, actually working on some concept art, and that's what we're going to focus on here. So the first few shots we get are someone drawing some concept art of Pikachus. It's nothing really too big here, but you can just see Pikachu and Pikachu there. Nothing, you know, amazing there, just Pikachu. So we want to look at the actual new stuff. So the next section we get is a bit more interesting. Here we see Junichi Masuda looking at a board of different artworks and you know, concept arts of an area in the game it would seem. Um, so obviously let's have a look at this thing, you know. Looking at each bit individually, the top left of the board you see this orange area, um, as you can see slightly larger highlighted on the screen now. <laughs> what is this? Who? What? I, I don't know. Um, I really can sort of relate it to anywhere in the game that I can see. I mean, it could possibly be a Pokemon. Um, back in X and Y, I think, I can't remember, X and Y Pokemarts were split, maybe? I don't know. No, they were still there. I can't remember. Um, no, I remember now. In Auras, the Pokemarts were together with the Pokemon Center, if I remember correctly, of course. So, it's likely they're going to keep that in the same sort of theme, maybe, or they might switch it. Who knows? So, this could be a Pokemart. I very much doubt it's going to be Pokemon Center, because it's too dark to be a Pokemon Center. Um, it could also be something to do with Pokemon Gym, of course, because it's sort of, it could be like an entryway to the main entrance of the gym. Or it could be something different, like an office for the professor, or something along those lines. Then if we look at the next sections, or next bit here, you can see this is this one is just from the right top right of the board, and it seems to be maybe from the same room, and you have that brown again, but it's time with a white, so maybe this is the outside of the building. Uh, you can see sort of a brown stripe with a white dome on the top and red markings. However, this does look a bit like it could either be a Pokeball or it could be a Wi-Fi symbol. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a Wi-Fi symbol because it doesn't have an extra band and I think a Wi-Fi symbol would usually have one of those. Um, so it could be a Pokemon Center there uh, or it could be a Pokemon Mart or a Pokemon Gym. Um, I don't know really. Maybe, they, maybe they'll change it up with the Pokemon Centers and go for a darker theme this time. Um, not like I'm saying like, oh yeah, Pokemon Centers are going like, to have drugs and stuff. I mean, a dark, a dark color, color theme, yeah. If you look at also right in the bottom of the board as well, you can see the same sort of pat, the same sort of red stripes with the brown background, and it very much seems like it's an outside area. Although it could be inside, and it could be sort of towards the back of the sort of the the area we're looking at to be in with. I don't know. The next bit is a bit more interesting. We can actually see some sort of in indoor areas. I think it is at least, and these seem to be from a Pokemon Mart. I would assume. Um, they seem to be sort of corner areas. Maybe the Pokemon guy is just, just going to sit in the corner nowadays. Um, but there's not a huge amount you can see here, obviously. But there seems to be like a desk in a corner. Um, so possibly to do with a Pokemon. Who knows? And the next part is more of this sort of brown sort of colouring area. You can see a sort of three images here. One seems to be again of a desk of some sort, and the second picture again is a sort of the same desk. And the third one seems to be maybe the outside of this building, um, or maybe the inside sort of plaza area, I don't know. Uh, assuming the first one here was the Pokemart, I really don't know what this one could be. Unless they're changing the colouring of the Pokemon, um, Pokemon Center, I don't think this can be the Pokemon Center, because it doesn't look... Pokemon Center, the, 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 sort of the original colouring for Pokemon Center was white and red. Basically, this is brown. It, does, it doesn't fit. Uh, obviously, it's just concept art still. But if we do look in the first picture, you see this brown uh, desk. But there's also to the right of it this red and white desk. So maybe that's the Pokemon Center section. The brown part could be closed. There we are. That could be a closed symbol right there. Oh, I'm on fire today, guys. 
That could be a clove symbol on that little orange thing there, or of course it could be Pokemon and the blue one could be a clove symbol, I don't know. Because obviously we did have customization in the X and Y, didn't come back in Auras, but it would make sense for it to return in Sun and Moon since they are new games, whereas Auras was just a remake. So this would make a lot of sense, it would be a cloving area where you could have a buy cloves, or actually yeah, look at, look at this um, little brown capsule thing on the middle image, that could be a changing room. That could be a changing room right there, guys. You can buy clothes at this desk, and then you go and go in the changing room and change your clothes, basically. Um, what the last image is, I don't know in that case, because obviously it doesn't look like it wouldn't fit in somewhere, but it could be sort of another building just simply dedicated to customization, because obviously when you go to Lumios in X and Y, there is one building dedicated just to haircuts, so it could be something along those lines. Then the last sort of little image we have to look from here is, again, I've mentioned already, the, the the red circle bit there, the first image. The rest of it, I don't really know. It looks to be the PC. It looks to be the PC, doesn't it, guys? You can see the first image there, or the middle image, rather. Um, there's a white stand, and then there's blue with what looked like keypads. So it would make a lot of sense for this to be a PC. Um, obviously, the the, mid, the middle bottom right image, I don't really... I, that's, I can't make anything out from that. But it would make sense this to be the beast P for be <laughs> for this to be the PC since we've had you know Pokemon stuff, Pokemon Center stuff, customization stuff, and obviously the PC is the other thing you have in a Pokemon Center. So that would make sense for the PC to look at. That. So yeah, that's basically what all this concept art is here. If you guys have any different ideas on what any of these things could be, you know the brown sections and the blue sections, let me know down below because obviously we want to just discuss this concept art and see what we got here. The next one we have here is another member of the Pokemon you know, main Pokemon area, I don't know how to explain it, you know, the inner circle of Pokemon creation, I, 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 I apologise but I don't know this, this gentleman's name, um, but we have uh, him drawing something, and if we, there's only one sort of section of the image here, because the rest is too bright because of the sun, but, uh, get it, sun, oh, this is just, oh, it's all linked together guys, um, but we can see, if we pull up the actual image, we can see and put it on the left here, it seems to just be the, um, the two logos for the games will be the Japanese logos, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So there really is not too much to see on this image because there's not much apart from that really. The next bit we have is some more concept art of Pokemon Center basically. You can see right slap bang in the middle we have Pokemon Center custom, not custom art but concept art. Um, the middle top seems to be like the final version I guess or maybe a, you know, a higher version of it because the other two look a bit different. The bottom left one seems to be the back of the Pokemon Center. And the bottom right one seems to be the you know the other side of it, but this time it's got sort of a blue area on the top. Um, and you can see I think it's someone scribbled something on top of it and put a maybe a yellow circle around it to say like we don't like this, we need it to be fixed. Because obviously it's concept art, they are gonna, you know, scribble on it and say now nah, we want to change this bit and this bit, we don't like how it looks. The left section here as well seems to be of something we saw earlier as well. You can see uh, inside of a building, there's a desk, or there's a desk, there's a table with a plant and what looks to be a, a, a lampshade or something on it. And in the corner as well, we have that blue section we saw earlier, which is possibly something to do with Pokemon or customization, we don't know. Um, and then there's also this stuff to the top right as well. We have to assume it's similar to this other stuff, because obviously they, they wouldn't really you know, get a, a sheet of concept art of, right, okay, let's put Pokemon centers, let's put four, you know, they would, they would group stuff together. So we can assume it's somehow based. There seems to be a window or a door um, right in the center there. But this top section, which I'll bring out for you, I don't know what this is really. Um, it seems to be some sort of plaza, or my other thought was like a battle, a Pokemon battle scene, you know, um, having sort of the background. Or it could be like a, a, a arena or something. I really I can't you know, get much else from that. But um, you can see also here, like what is this black image as well? Maybe an, uh, an entrance sort of, you know, we had in previous games, every time you enter a new area, you got this sort of entrance screen, I don't know. It could be something to do with that, but really I can't make much, you know, too much stuff out apart from just some black block, you know, black blotches and what seem to be screen doors um, with an opening in between, so maybe that's related somehow? I don't quite know. Now if you take a look at the next sheet of concept art, this is really interesting. These are vehicles, okay? First, if we start at the top right, we see a green truck, a red truck, and a brown truck. Obviously, just trucks used with different coloring. Whatever, there's nothing too special there. The bottom, we have what seems to be an ambulance or a poker ambulance, I guess, um, which is very similar to ambulance in real life, except the back, back of it is a pokeball, which is really cool. I cannot wait to see that in game. Hopefully, it'll be used like well. 
um, be parked outside of Pokemon Center sometimes, drive around the cities, if there are cities to drive around, who knows. Um, but that'd be cool. And then there are these two other ones. The first is the top one here, which is similar to the green truck, except this time it has, you know, a pickup area with place for things to stand, basically. And if I bring a bigger view, you can see basically in this back section, people have just got, you know, they go on a, tr on a trip with their Pokemon. There seems to be, I think there's a fur through there, uh, a Wobbuffet as well. And I think the guy at the back is a Machamp. I cannot be sure though. It's a taller Pokemon, here, maybe a Mat joke. But Furfru and a Wobbuffet are there as well, so that's really cool. Um, maybe we'll get to see some Pokemon just like hanging around in cars, driving around, stuff like that. Um, but the bottom vehicle on the left is also cool because it seems to be a fire sort of fire vehicle. And on the back, there is a Blastoise sat there. That is really cool. I love that, you know. Just the idea of using Pokemon for, you know, stuff like that, you know. Putting out fires, that's what I'm thinking of. Blastoise, you know, and you don't need to carry around water pumps because you just got to bring your Blastoise along. And if you've got a nice little place for him to sit in this cherry picker, you can just go up and blast out some water. So seeing that in game is going to be really cool as well, especially if Blastoise is just sat up there chilling. I really like this concept um, sort of stuff here and what they're going to put in the game. There's also this section at the bottom right which features a wing gun. Um, I don't know if this is just a normal poster or concept art as well. But it seems to you know, denote there is some some sea in this new region. Um, of course, we don't know how much sea, but uh, you know there's sea in every region. But you guys get what I mean. Uh, this white section is why he's flying around. I cannot for the life of me make out what it is. It could be a um, a sail for a ship. So maybe we'll get to you know go on a ship there because obviously we went on a ship in Auras, except it was Mr. Briny's speedboat. I think maybe a you know a sailing ship would be a bit different. So let's move on to the next set. It's not really a set, it's just a single image. Someone typing on a keyboard, but in the background here you can see there is this image on the screen. It's a bit blurry, but what you can make out is there's a, a yellow car parked in front of what seems to be a house. Now we can actually move straight on to the next set because this is then shown again, but in more detail. And you can see at the top left here, uh, here is this, this house or whatever it is. We have a yellow car, yellow truck parked here. Um, in front of this red house, it seems to be some sort of maybe like um, a bungalow area, you know, a hotel, a motel, stuff like that. And there's also something put on the top, which is a slacking. Um, so yeah, a hotel or a motel would make a lot of sense because he can just sort of like chill on the roof because it's slacking, he's lazy, stuff like that would make a lot of sense. This red building to be a motel. Then uh, if we look in the middle top, we have this what seems to be the inside of an office area almost. Uh, we have the doorway right here. And inside we have, you know, uh, there's a sofa on the left, there seems to be, um, you can't really make much, much out much more, but there seems to be a bed in the middle. Um, the bottom right seems to be uh, either like a cupboard or just walled off, uh, or top right rather I mean. Uh, and this, I'm guessing there's a PC right next to the bed because this may well be the uh, protagonist's bedroom. Um, hence why there's two versions, maybe one for the male and one for the female one, um, who knows. But and there's also, you know, Maybe the entrance goes on to a balcony, uh, and then the, bottom, the thing at the top right is actually um, stairs going downstairs, you know, as opposed to um, a wall. I really can't, yeah, you know, I can't make out too much of it because it's a bit blurry. There's also the thing at the bottom left of this picture, which seems to be some sort of house. I really, I can't make out much more of it. Um, it seems to be some sort of different house, a black coloured house. Again, I can't go too much into that. But then there's also this thing, uh, the bottom, or the middle right, I guess I should say. Um, which again seems to be of the inside of a house somewhere. Can't really make out what type of house it is. Maybe just one of these houses, you know, you just go into and talk to people. Because um, you can't really make out too much of it there. But there also seems to be this blue section to it, which could be like a pool or an aquarium where they could have their, their pet Pokemon just running around. Maybe something like that, who knows. As well as this, right at the bottom of the picture, you can see in the middle, there's this sort of gra um, green section, which could be a concept art of a forest. Or something along those lines and there's also this big section on the right hand side which we can actually blow up as a bigger, you know, bigger picture here and see it a bit more now this seems to be some sort of building obviously good job Matt um, there's a horsey fountain in front of it and we have these pokeball patterns all around there's two on the path there's two on the um, sort of the entrance way and there's also one on the, you know, the back the, the front of the building um, so I would say this is probably a Pokemon gym either a Pokemon gym or a Pokemon Aquarium, a Pokemon Sea Resort, something along those lines. Why? Because you have these pictures of Pokemon on top. We have Sveal, Staryu, and um, what's the other one called? 
Chinchu, and then going back out onto the, the first image, you can also see there's Magikarp, Horsey, and Krabby. So it's a water Pokemon themed area. You know, in terms of why it's water Pokemon themed, possibly the DM, um, or possibly to do with an aquarium, sea resort, stuff like that, along those lines. Another thing I want to highlight here is there are two people stood in front of this area. One of them seems to be a protagonist, you can see here because of the red cap, the red clothes, the, you know, the blue jeans. He seems to be like red from the first games, or even you could say um, you know, the protagonist from X and Y maybe. Um, he looks like a general protagonist we're used to seeing for Pokemon, so maybe this is our first hint of what he's going to look like. Okay, obviously it's concept art, we can't, you know, they might have just put old characters in there instead, but it might be an idea of what he looks like. There's also this girl he's speaking to, she looks like she might be one of the, um, the sort of the rich girls. Uh, she's got a suitcase as well that might be, you know, just come along with her model, you know, her model, her picture in the new games. You know, they're rich girls; they carry around all their clothes in their suitcase, sort of stereotype thing. Or this could be some sort of protagonist friend that we could have for these games. Um, who knows why she have a suitcase? But that could be why, you know, why we have you know, her talking to our seemingly protagonist in front of the what I'm going to assume is Pokemon Gym. Then the last set of images here, we have what seems to be our first look at a Generation 6 Pokemon. And this Pokemon seems to be the, the basic bird Pokemon from the region. You can see in these four screenshots, uh, particularly the bottom two is, is the easiest to make it out in. It's a bird, it has wings, you can see the uh, action of the wings opening up. So it very much seems like a bird. In terms of what type of bird it is, I mean that would take a bit more... Um, a bit more... Uh, what am I thinking of here? A bit more detective work, I guess, uh, to find out what type of bird it is by looking at its body shape. But I mean, I'd say maybe like a sparrow or a robin that might make sense. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's our first generation six Pokemon, apparently. Our first generation six Pokemon. And as I said, I'm assuming it's sort of the basic bird Pokemon for the region. So instead of Pidgey and you know Starly and stuff like that, um, this could even it could even be like Starly. I, you know what I mean. It's very unlikely to be Starly because there are some differences, but I'm just saying we shouldn't take it at face value and say, oh my god, new generation 6 Pokemon, because it could very well be a Pokemon from a previous region, because even the, the top right picture looks a lot like Starly in my opinion, um, but of course it is a trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon, so it would make sense them to show at least one, maybe not, you know, a new Pokemon, but some stuff to do with the new game. So hopefully this is a new generation six Pokemon, but I'm just saying it might not it might not be, so don't hold it at face value. So in the trailer after we get this, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, the logos are revealed, they're real, etc, 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 everyone's happy, and we get told that it will be available worldwide in nine languages coming holiday 2016. Now bear in mind, this doesn't quite mean uh, it's going to be a worldwide release quite yet, because Holiday 2016 is basically any time from November to, you know, through to December. It will, it, it's coming holiday 2016, so you know when the holiday is. Just, you know, remember, it's, it's coming. You know, you'll be able to buy it for Christmas, basically. This doesn't mean it's worldwide, as I've said, because you could have it released in US and Japan one week, and then the next week everyone else gets it. So we don't know. We haven't got a release date quite yet, but I'm assuming it will be either October, November, or at the very latest, the start of December. I wouldn't expect it to be in December. November is sort of the prime time for releasing games, because obviously parents can buy it for their children for Christmas, and you can get it for yourself as well if you really want to. So guys, that is it for this analysis video of the Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. What I want to know is, what do you think of all those concept art? Is there anything you've, you can spot on these pictures where you can think, well, that must be that, you know, or, or you know, if, if, you, if, I've, if, if anything I've said is stupid, just let me know. Just be like, Matt, you're an idiot. This is not what this is. This is, you know, this instead. And if you've got any ideas for what, you know, this Pokemon gym I use in um, quotation marks is, or what the cars might be used for, or the, you know, the indoor designs or whatever, let me know down below in the comment sections. I'm really interested to see what you guys think of this concept art. And as we find out more details for Pokemon Sun and Moon in the future, over the coming days, weeks, and months, I'll be here every step of the way covering these games and probably producing some fear videos as well on other stuff about the games. So if you guys have any ideas, you know, what the games might, you know, if you, if you want me to talk about anything, you know, about the games, I'll do a video on it if you drop it down in the comment section, leave me your ideas, you know, theories, um, just stuff to at the end, the new games you want me to talk about, whether they'll be this or that, you know, any ideas you guys have, let, them down, let me know down below, and obviously uh, you, you might end up seeing a video for it. 
So guys, that's it for me for today though, probably the last video of today, who knows though, um, but I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching, goodbye my friends.